Hey, brothers and sisters, Pastor Frank, and welcome to my office this Tuesday morning here at, at Woodbridge. And we are we are in the journey together, aren't we? What uh, do, every day I wake up and I'm just like, is this really happening? And yet, you know, I was talking with an individual last week who was kind of a prodigal in many ways, who had grown up in the church and was really walked away from the Lord. And you know, this this person is coming back to Christ, and it's this. It's the season we're living in is really drawing this person to ask deep questions once again about Jesus, about life. And, you know, God is doing a work in the midst of all this. I always say he's tilling the soil and the word of God is being planted. And um, God is doing good things, but crazy times, crazy, crazy times. And I just hope that you're doing well. You know, um, everybody's on a journey to meet Jesus. And, And last Sunday, we talked about Peter. And boy, if you if you just take John uh, chapter one and you take Luke uh, chapter four and five and you and you ring it out, boy, you can sure kind of see Peter's journey of how he met Jesus. And you know, there's that time on that boat when Peter finally came to that realization: Lord, depart from me. I'm a man of unclean lips, right? I'm a sinful man, and. It's so, so true when we figure out who is Jesus. People are figuring out Jesus in the midst of this storm that you and I are in. And people are coming to realize the gospel. And the beautiful news is Jesus says, follow me. And you and I are just learning how to follow Christ. In this next series that we're going to be doing, we're just going to be looking at Peter. And we're going to let Peter be our guide. And, you know, I think Peter has a lot of... Um, things he can say to us to help us on the journey, encourage us to walk with Jesus, especially in days like today when sometimes things just don't make sense. Uh, you know, Peter's the one that, that started the church. Uh, Jesus used Peter to start the church in the book of Acts chapter 2 to the Jewish church and then to half Jews and in, in Acts 8 with Samaritans and the Gentiles and you know, I don't know about you, but I'm going stir crazy. I can't wait for the day that we can finally meet together as a church body. And we were just talking about that uh, as a staff today. We're social distancing in the foyer. And what will the church look like the day that we get to open the doors again? And it's going to be very different. As long, But you're going to be safe. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of safety measures and adhering to all of what the government's saying we need to be doing social distancing and wearing masks and washing hands and we'll probably have some kind of a uh, maybe uh, p- calling in saying are you coming to church this week and having to sign seating and keeping social distancing and it's it we're, it'll happen someday I can't wait for the day to see you um, crazy times brothers and sisters we need to pray this Thursday is the national day of prayer And this Thursday from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, I'm going to be hosting a Zoom meeting that's going to be happening here at the church. And we're going to be inviting all of you that want to join us. I think we can have over 100 people on Zoom with our account. And we're going to be encouraging you to join us as we pray for our country. It's a national day of prayer. This Thursday, I'm going to be hosting this Zoom meeting. We'll be sending you out the ID so you can join in if you want to be a part of that. And let's pray for our country. Let's pray for our families. Let's pray for our church. Let's pray for, for God to be doing his amazing work. Let's pray for a cure to this disease that's happening right now, this virus. Um, it's going to be okay, Woodbridge. I, I, maybe today you have extra anxiety. Maybe today you're a little bit more in fear than yesterday. It's going to be okay. This, this too will pass. God is doing a great work. Just follow him. Tell Jesus today, Jesus, I follow you today. In my home, here, whatever it is that you're doing, um, teaching your kids, um, working from home, you know, follow the Lord. God is with you. He's not left you. He's not forsaken you. He's working in people's lives. Trust him. Trust him, my friends. God bless you, Woodbridge. It's it's. It's, it's good to know that we're in this together, that we're a church family. We're a Jesus community. God bless you. We'll see you on Thursday for this uh, National Day of Prayer. And I'll see you next Sunday as we enter into the life of Peter. Um, so I'll see you then. God bless. Bye-bye.